This video will guide you through the process of upgrading to the Charger 2 damper in a RockShox Reba, Sid, or Bluto fork. The process is similar for other RockShox forks. However, you must consult your fork service manual for specific instructions. Damper top caps and upper tube thread pitches may vary. Consult the compatibility chart in the Charger 2 upgrade manual before damper upgrade installation. Installation of an incompatible damper top cap will damage the upper tube and damper top cap threads. If you are unsure what model year or generation you have, contact your local SRAM distributor or dealer. Remove the wheel from the bicycle. Remove the brake caliper and hose from the fork and place them out of the way. Rotate the bicycle to make the rebound adjuster knob easily accessible. Remove the rebound adjuster knob. Place an oil pan beneath the fork to catch the draining oil. Use a 5mm hex wrench to loosen both bottom bolts 3 to 4 turns. Strike the wrench to dislodge the shaft from the lower leg on each side. And remove the bolts. Firmly pull the lower leg downward until fluid begins to drain. Continue pulling downward to remove the lower leg. If the lower leg does not slide off of the upper tube, or if fluid does not drain from either side, the press fit of the shaft to the lower leg may still be engaged. Reinstall the bottom bolts two to three turns and repeat the previous step. Do not hit the fork arch with any tool when removing the lower leg, as this could damage the fork. The procedure for removing the damper is similar across RockShox forks. Your fork's knobs, bolts, and damper may vary. Consult your fork's service manual for more detailed instructions. Make sure your fork's compression adjuster is in the open position. Remove the retention screw and compression adjuster knob. Unthread the compression damper top cap. Remove the compression damper by pulling up firmly and slowly, while gently rotating the damper in a circular motion. Do not force the damper out of the upper tube if there is resistance. This can cause separation of the piston from the damper tube. Push the rebound damper shaft into the upper tube. Remove the retaining ring. Pull the rebound shaft to full extension and wrap a rag around the upper tube. Remove the rebound damper and seal head. Make sure an oil pan is beneath the fork. Fluid will drain from the upper tube. Clean the inside and outside of the upper tube. For crown adjust, install the Charger 2 damper into the damper side of the upper tube. Thread the top cap into the upper tube and tighten. To prepare the top cap assembly, install the glide ring into the groove on the underside of the low speed compression knob. Install a spring into each hole on the underside of the low speed compression knob. Install a detent ball on top of each spring. Apply grease to the underside of the low-speed compression knob to hold the springs and balls in place. Place the low-speed compression knob onto the lockout knob. Place the top cap assembly onto the Charger 2 top cap so the knob rotates from open to close. Rotate the low-speed compression knob clockwise until it stops. Install the retention screw. For remote adjust, install the Charger 2 damper into the damper side of the upper tube. Thread the top cap into the upper tube and tighten. To prepare the remote spool assembly, loosely install the cable stop collar bolt and the cable set screw. Apply grease to the glide ring and install it into the remote spool. Install the detent ring onto the low speed compression adjuster knob with the hooked ends of the ring installed in the hole. Place the adjuster knob into the spool, 
and use a pick to press down on the detent ring bulge to install the low speed compression adjuster knob into the spool. Install the cable stop collar with the cable guide in the forward position. Install the remote spool with the cable set screw oriented within the 87 degree range zone. Rotate the low speed compression knob clockwise until it stops. Install and tighten the low speed compression knob screw. Hand tighten the cable stop collar bolt. Do not over tighten the cable stop collar bolt. Over tightening the bolt may result in damage to the remote top cap and cause the cable to rub. Consult the One Lock User Manual at www.sram.com forward slash service for cable and remote installation instructions. If your fork is due for a 50-hour lower leg service, please consult the RockShox 50-hour lower leg service video at sram.com forward slash service. Grease the inner surface of the wiper seals on the lower legs. Rotate the bicycle in the work stand so that the lower leg bolt holes are oriented upward. Slide the lower leg onto the upper tube enough to engage the upper bushing with the upper tube. Make sure both wiper seals slide onto the tubes without folding the outer lip of either seal. The inside of the lower leg should not contact the spring or damper shafts. A gap between the shaft ends and lower leg bolt holes should be visible. Angle a syringe fitting into each lower leg bolt hole so oil will only contact the inside of the lower leg and inject the oil. Do not exceed the recommended oil volume per leg as this can damage the fork. Slide the lower leg assembly along the upper tubes until it stops and the spring and damper shafts are visible through the lower leg bolt holes and centered. Install the solid bottom bolt into the spring side shaft of the lower leg. Install the hollow bottom bolt into the damper side shaft of the lower leg. Torque both bottom bolts. Install the rebound adjuster knob. Reinstall the brake caliper and hose. Install the wheel. This concludes the Charger 2 damper upgrade for RockShox Reba, Sid, or Bluto suspension forks.